Okay there folks, is it just me? Or do Republicans try to one-up the crazy on each other every chance they get? Just a couple years ago, it was the North Carolina GOP. Nobody was crazier. Then it was the Wisconsin GOP. Then it was the Pennsylvania GOP. Now it's the Pennsylvania GOP and the Arizona GOP. And I'm telling you something right now, the feds are giving them a run for their money. There's no doubt about it. They are Looney Tunes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to read to you what's going on with this Arizona audit, the Maricopa County audit, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> it is on life support. Arizona auditors now say voter data is intact after sparking GOP feud. Wow. So after they come out with their lawyers looking like they're going to freaking sue the pants off you, then you say, no, actually, uh, that wasn't that that one right there. That wasn't true. Oh, yeah, that wasn't true either. I mean, all the phony baloney stories you put out there are absolutely outrageous. Talking about bamboo ballots and chickens eating ballots. It's like, like you guys are out your rabbit ass minds. You have to get it together. Come back to reality. It was just bad news. It wasn't fake news. Just bad news. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Now, this is by Eric Bradner in CNN. Oh, I guess it can't be true. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, CNN is a corporate capitalist outlet, just like the Republican Party, a corporate capitalist party. So don't give me that baloney that they're biased against Republicans because they're a bunch of socialists. Auditors hired by the Arizona State Senate backtracked Tuesday from claims that a key database had been deleted from Maricopa County's election servers, admitting in a hearing held by Senate Republicans overseeing the audit that the data is intact and they'd been looking the wrong way. The blunder was the latest embarrassment for State Senate President Karen Fan and the Republicans who sought the audit, which is being overseen by a company called Cyber Ninjas. In a letter <laughs> who pushed a bunch of conspiracy theories, surprise, surprise, about the election in particular. In a letter last week to the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, Fan wrote uh, in claims that have since been proved false that the main database for all election-related data for the 2020 election in Arizona's most populous county has been removed and asked the board for an explanation. The Twitter account for the Senate's audit went, on, went even further saying Maricopa County deleted a directory full of election databases from the 2020 election cycle days before the election equipment was delivered to the audit. This is spoilation of the evidence. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. How much time do you think they'll spend walking back these claims? Probably none. Probably zero. They'll probably, they'll probably fire cyber ninjas and try to hire someone even crazier. Former President Donald Trump also seized on fans, fans' claims of deleted database, saying in a statement over the weekend, The entire database of Maricopa County in Arizona has been deleted. This is illegal. The Arizona State Senate, who's leading the forensic audit, is up in arms. <laughs> Goodness gracious. It always makes you wonder, man. You know, Donald Trump, he got, he's got a dementia-addled brain. What is he going to say next? What Dementia, not a funny thing, by the way. Especially not for someone in power. But the truth is, this dude's brain is dementia-addled. You don't know what he's going to do next. But Maricopa County officials explained and auditors acknowledged Tuesday those conducting the audit had made a technical mistake and the database was never deleted. Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer, a Republican and county's board of supervisors, four or five of whom are Republicans, responded to claims with scathing letter Monday that laid out a series of mistakes auditors had made. Among them, they had not properly reconstructed the raid storage array used by the county when creating copies of the hard drives. I think that might be important which left them unable to access files that otherwise would have been readily accessible. Ben Cotton, the founder of CYFIR, one of the companies involved in Arizona Senate audit, Senate's audit, said in the closed hearing held by Senate Republicans on Tuesday that the county's explanation was correct. All of this, however, may be a moot point because subsequently I've been able to recover all the deleted files and I have access to that data. Cotton did not, did not directly acknowledge that auditors had erred and that characterizing the files as having been deleted was false. But his explanations made clear that the database had never been deleted. 
Great arrays used in enterprise servers are designed for redundancy. They split data among multiple hard drives. I think you guys know what a RAID array is. You've probably seen it. Maybe I'll put a picture up. <clears throat> they split data among multiple hard drives in a way that allows the data stored on those drives to be maintained and automatically reconstructed in the event that a drive within the array fails. That's why it's called an array. However, RAID arrays can be constructed in a number of different ways, and Cotton said auditors did not know which construction Maricopa County had used, which, which would have left them unable to fully access the contents of the server. State Senator Warren Peterson, one of two Republicans participating in the hearing, asked, do you still need to get that database from the county, or will that rebuilding or recovery that you did, does that have the information you currently need for that database? And uh, Cotton said, I have the information I need from the recovery efforts of the data. After Cotton said he found the files, Maricopa County's Board of Supervisors criticized the Republicans who had claimed the files had been deleted. Just want to underscore that AZ Senate's Arizona audit account accused Maricopa County of deleting files, which would be a crime. Then a day after our technical letter explained they were just looking in the wrong place, all of a sudden auditors have recovered the files, the board tweeted. Maricopa County Board of Supervisors Steve Gallardo, the Board of Supervisors' sole Democratic Party member, told CNN's Aaron Burnett on Tuesday that he felt not at all vindicated by the auditor's admission. It's a sham. It's a circus, Gallardo said. He's right. He's right. <clears throat> He's right. And the only attempt is to throw red meat to their base and try everything they can to try to undermine our democracy, undermine the will of the votes, voters, and continue to push voter suppression bills. That's what this is all about. Mm, mm, mm. What a tangled web we weave when we are to deceive. You know, all you guys who have already freaking disliked, signed out, signed into another account, disliked again, and left like 15 comments should probably come back to reality now. Come back to Earth. Cut it with the post-truth trash. Okay, we don't need no alternative facts up in here. Here's the thing. It's just bad news for you. That's what it is. Donald Trump losing, just bad news. Donald Trump crashing the economy, just bad news. Donald Trump unable to handle the pandemic, just bad news. Not fake news, just bad news. It's just bad news for you. I'm sorry. Bad news is not equivalent to fake news. It's not how this works. Okay, and good news for the opposition is not the equivalent to fake news. It's just good news for them, bad news for you once again. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.